we have just left Taksi Square and walking towards another to another location to meet up with our Turkish friend. Turkish ice cream, the trick, the trick. <laughs> yeah.
my god. Wow, look at this. I believe this is a chocolate store. Look at the varieties of chocolates. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, all kinds of nuts, so beautiful. Wow. Yes, yes. Wow, really? Fantastic. Yes, yes. <laughs> she thank you. Okay, can I try? Yes, yes. <laughs> Mark, Mark, can you hold for me? This is one of the most famous old chocolate shops in Istanbul, dating back from 1924, and it's called Historical Beyoğlu Chocolate Store. I tried a piece and... Yeah, it's homemade, no big brand, it's not delivered all around Turkey, it's only sold here. You can try it. This is the one. I'm really impressed by the taste of the chocolate. We shall get some. Definitely. Merhaba, hoş geldin. Şöyle var, kapıda tabii. Ya, I tried it. Yeah, 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 I tried it. Do you like the chocolate with pistachio or with nuts? Pistachio. pistachio. I forgot how to say thank you in the Turkish language. That's it good. <laughs> Now, wow. let me take the bottle and you can open it. Oh, keep on recording. Yeah. So, welcome to Istanbul. Come Thank on. you so much. Welcome it's to Istanbul. Very I think. exciting, you know, since the moment we landed. 
got into the city, it's like so much vibes and energy. Different frequency here. Yeah. yeah. Very historic. <laughs> Centuries. The people are just so friendly. You know? yeah. People are just so forward moving. Yeah. Uh, the people feel like you're not, or they make you feel like you're not a stranger. It's true. Yeah, yeah. It's true. We just got befriended to that uh, the cafe guy, coffee guy, and then he gave me extra coffee, Turkish coffee, and then he gave us extra tea. Wow. Yeah. So it's very rare in some other countries yeah. to be offered something free because you're a tourist. Why should he do that? It's only by heart or out of the heart. He so. was touched because I gave him a, a small session of coffee. Oh, oh very good. <laughs> you feel, you feel the it's, it's almost similar, let's say, in terms of thread. I don't see any thread in Kuala Lumpur. So please take it as free as or as comfy as you are in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Pick pockets. Sometimes at night, but not now. Okay, everywhere in the world. Yeah, yeah. We take precautions to in Kuala Lumpur. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you? Yeah. Day and night? Yeah, we hang on with our back. Ah, then we don't have to, we don't have to do that. By the way, the chocolate is really superb. Ah. Oh, nice. I yeah. agree. <laughs> nice, right? For the Turkish intellectual people, uh, at the late end, at the end, at the last uh, eras of the Ottoman Empire, they used to go to France for education. And uh, the elite people in Ottoman Empire times, before the foundation of Republic of Turkey, uh, the elite people went or sent their uh, young generation to France for education. And maybe they studied in uh, Sorbonne or good French universities and when they come back they brought the French influence to our culture so the last 200 years of the French uh, sorry Ottoman Empire our roots was much influenced by the French culture and then Atatürk founded uh, the Republic of Turkey mm -hmm. in 1923 so the chocolate shop was 1924. Oh, yeah. So now I hear so much about the Ottoman Empire. Uh, so Ottoman Empire, like you since since you are saying about o the French. Ottoman Empire was founded in 1299, and uh, in 1923, mm -hmm. almost 700 years, seven mm -hmm. centuries, mm -hmm. was the Ottoman Empire, uh, let's say, a uh, power. Uh, but something has changed. Every kingdom has ups and rises, uh, ups and downs. And Turkey was founded in 23. Today's modern Turkey was founded 100 years ago. Mother of Turkey. Mother of Turkey. Hmm? The modern Turkey. Modern. I said modern Turkey because in the Ottoman times our alphabet was Arabic. Mm. Oh. Was very much influenced by not only French culture but also Arabic culture. Mm because our alphabet was Arabic alphabet and the Ottoman Empire was influenced by the Islamic culture after the 14th century because on the way of the Turks coming from Middle East to Anatolia we were shamans we had a different religion we were shamans yeah, originally we were shaman and the Islamic armies came across with the Turkish armies and Fortunately, they made no fight. They agreed to cooperate. But the deal was to survive, but to accept the Islam. But to the roots, we're shaman. We come from uh, Middle East to even Mongolia, back to Mongolia. When we came to Anatolia, it's the cradle of civilizations. Lots of Greek culture lots of uh, Latin culture, lots of French influence in the last 200 years. Mm -hmm. But today, I think Turkish has become also a language among maybe 10 countries. Yes. Uzbekistan, Turkestan, Azerbaijan, okay. uh, Bulgaria, half of Bulgaria can speak Turkish. Oh, wow. We have a different mosaic. 
I just saw on the map today that uh, Istanbul is very close to Bulgaria. We are neighbors. What? On the left, we are neighbor. We have border neighbor to Greece and Bulgaria. On the east, we are neighbor to Georgia and Russia. And on the east, we are neighbor to Iran. Mm. And on the south, to Iraq and Syria. And Mediterranean Sea, Aegean Sea covers one third of our all borders. So, so beautiful. Istanbul is a city where two continents meet for Asia and Europe. Yeah. Europe and Asia has got four bridges in between. They're all here in Turkey. And three in Istanbul, one in Gallipoli, Çanakkale. It's a different country. No problem. Thank you. These parts, yeah. you can feel like you're in Morocco, or you can feel like you're in Lebanon. We have uh, the Turkish culture is a mosaic of Russia, mm. Europe, North Africa, and Asia. It's a different. Uh, very cultural, really multicultural. rich, yes, multicultural, culturally rich. Check passage, it's called check passage, flower uh, passage. Mm -hmm. Let's go through. All right. Wow! Wow! When you come here in the evenings, the people love drinking rakı, listening to traditional Turkish music, and all cheers up. This is so awesome! This is so beautiful. Right, sorry. <laughs> um, let's drink to All right. This is just spicy. They're not small, but. Congratulations! Turkish guitar. Is it commonly played by? Yeah, very commonly Turkey. played in the folk music of Turkey. And the instrument on the left mm -hmm. with a wider uh, body. It's from the Ottoman times. Mm -hmm. And the one at the back on the wall the narrow long ones mm -hmm. it's called Kemenche it's from the North Sea region it's also very authentic very low yes sir yes sir yes 
Butcher of Turkey. Uh -huh. He earned a lot. And in the World Cup, do you remember somebody yeah. went and got from uh, Messi the World yes. Cup and he was I saw that. rejected so much by his <laughs> uh, how to say a commercial police. Ah, so cute. Commercial police. <laughs> So you are saying that this tower is the tallest? Uh, the tallest for... I don't for know how many hundred years ago, but okay. at that time... The at that time? Tower, yeah.